It took days and days of, frankly, quite feverish media speculation about the barge behind me in the San Francisco Bay and a similar one moored off the eastern seaboard for the technology giant to break its silence about its plans for what exactly is going on there. In the end, the truth rather more prosaic than some had suggested. It's not going to be some kind of floating data center free from the prying eyes of the National Security Agency. Neither is it going to provide Google with a retail presence to compete with Apple's mainland stores, as some had been suggesting. Nor is it going to be a VIP space, a showcase for Google executives to take partners and customers. So in the end, it's going to be an interactive technology space for people. That revelation, though, in some ways, throwing up more questions than answers. Who exactly is it going to be aimed at? Will anyone be able to simply walk on board? How mobile will it be? Will it be floating or will it be aimed at the mainland as well, easily disassembled and reassemblable at will? When will the project be ready? And perhaps most curious of all, why has Google remained so tight-lipped about what is, after all, quite a visible project? Some people are seeing it as a delicious irony that a company like Google that prides itself on openness and the free flow of information has, in this case, released, well, frankly, just a trickle. And they'll be looking for more answers about the barge in the weeks ahead.